Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to take a look at our newest character for this month for Global, which is going to be Ruby Conte. Now, Ruby Conte is a very strong counter tank and he is a hyped up character for many players for very good reasons, which we'll get into in this video. We're going to look over his kit and I'm going to let you guys know whether or not you should pull for this amazing counter tank. So... Do let me know down in the comment section below what your plans are going to be if you're going to be pulling for Ruby Conte and or Yuna who is going to be reran with the upcoming banners. Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for future content. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. A big thank you to all of my YouTube members for further supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys greatly. If you ever thought about becoming a Simply Lost member and help further support what I do, you can either click the first link in the description or the join button below for details on becoming a member. And a shout out to Maverick, Kernax, and DKA Powell for the continuous support. Let's move on to the video. So we'll first start off with Ruby Kante skill 1 Firaga, which grants the face me at 4 strength buff for 6 turns. Increases party's brave by 50% of own max brave, then deals an AoE split HP attack 4 times that allows for 180% stolen max brave overflow, recovers 20% brave after each HP attack, and inflicts the fire resist down debuff on all targets for 6 turns. Now, the buff provides him with a 20% max brave up, 50% brave damage resist up, 40% HP damage resist up. He counters on brave and or HP attacks and draws the targets to attack him. Now his skill 2, Absorb Lizara, uh, heals the HP by 100% of own HP up to 9999% of their max HP and any excess healing it distributed to allies up to 40% of their max HP. It does extend the duration of active buffs by one turn. Now his EX Inferno grants the Face Me at Force Strength and the Ruby Kante Out Torch of Flame buffs for six turns. Then deals an AoE split HP attack five times that allows for 200% stolen max brave overflow. Recovers 50% Brave after each HP attack, recovers 1 use of his skill 1, and inflicts the Fire Resist down to all targets for 6 turns. Now the Autarch of Flame buff grants the following to Ruby Kante. A 20% attack and Brave damage up, 30% HP damage up, 40% stolen Max Brave overflow, and a 20% gained Max Brave overflow. Now his LD, Soul Scald, Grants the strongest of the four Archfiends buff for 12 turns. Then deals an AoE full HP attack four times that allows for 180% stolen max brave overflow. Recovers 20% brave after each HP attack. Inflicts the fire resist down debuff to all targets for six turns. And grants the free ability use for one turn. Now as the LD buff grants the party with the following. A 20% Fire Enchant, a 50% Brave Damage Resist Up, 40% HP Damage Resist Up, and a 20% Stolen Max Brave Overflow Up. Now his Counter Fira, which triggers whenever he gets hit with a Brave or HP attack, and he has the Face Me at 4 Strength buff active, deals an AoE Split HP attack 2 times that allows for 180% Stolen Max Brave Overflow, recovers 30% Brave in between HP attacks, and recovers 30% Party Brave based on the HP damage dealt. Then his C65 lasts for 7 turns, it grants the Party Brave by 50% of own Max Brave, and provides the Party with the following, a 40% HP Damage Resist Up, and a 20% Brave Damage Cap Up. Now, with Leo as his partner, Ruby Contest FR grants the Face Me at Full Strength buff for 6 turns, then deals an AoE Split HP attack 4 times. While active, it grants Ruby Conte with a 50% turn rate down, Brave Damage Up, and HP Damage Up. Now, his FR conditions are as follows a 40% increase whenever Ruby Conte receives a Brave or HP Damage. A 5% increase whenever a teammate uses a fire ability which does include off turn triggers and a 10% increase whenever a teammate selects a fire ability. Now Ruby Conte's BT effect lasts for 8 turns and provides the following. 
It allows him to trigger his second counter attack, Counter Firaga. A 20% party brave damage up, 50% party HP damage cap up, a 30% party brave damage cap up. Now the Counter Firaga deals an AoE split HP attack 4 times that allows for 200% stolen max brave overflow, recovers 30% brave in between HP attacks, and party brave by 30% of the HP damage dealt. So let's talk about whether or not you should pull for Ruby Conte in the upcoming banners. Now Ruby Conte overall is a fantastic counter tank. Like he provides a good amount of stuff to the team. Uh, he makes it so that like even though he will be taking damage, like he is able to reduce the amount of brave and HP damage that is going to be hitting him. And then with the counter attacks, his uh, first counter attack, which is two HP attacks, and then his BT counter attack, which is four HP dumps. Yeah, it's a very good amount of HP attacks that he is going to be countering against the enemies whenever he gets hit. So when you really look at the possibilities of uh, if you have his FR active or if you have somebody else's FR active, the amount of damage that you can actually get with Ruby Conte if you have him fully maxed out, if you have the glove Ultima weapon maxed out, you can get some pretty good numbers out of the guy. Now, his uh, skill 2 is a great FR charging skill that does not decrease the buff count. When you take a look at some of these other uh, FR chargers or characters that have an FR charging ability, uh, they a, a lot of them do not have the ability to not decrease your buff count because whenever you are spamming his skill too uh he will extend the buff by one turn but but then of course at the end of his turn it does decrease by one but thankfully though with his skill too he has it built in so that like you are not going to lose the 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 turn count for whatever amount of turns you have left on whatever buffs you have active on Ruby Conte. So he is a very good FR charger. He has strong defensive auras. Now, most of the defensive auras, he is going to get the most out of everything. But he does provide a, or oh, he does have a buff that does provide uh, HP and brave damage resistor for the party. Uh, one thing to note about that though is that if you know the enemies are going to hit you with a strong AoE uh, damage and if, and if it's not going to be enough, if Ruby Conte's uh, party ores are not going to be enough to be able to handle all of the damage that uh, that yeah, your team is going to be uh, getting, then I would recommend using call abilities to help reduce the, that amount of damage. Or oh, hell, if you want to, just give uh, uh, Ruby Conte a Warrior of, Lock, Warrior of Light LD call ability, so that way you can get the shields and you'll be good to go if you run into that situation uh, where they're going to be spamming AoE HP attacks. Um, his FR is easy to increase for solo runs with Ruby Conte, and then whenever the enemy wants to clap your cheeks faster, aka whenever they increase increase their speed with uh, speed buffs, if they get uh, turn rate buffs, etc., etc., they jump in a turn order. You know, the, the list goes on, right? So, like when when it comes to his FR, seeing as how you want Ruby Conte to get hit whenever um. Oh, whenever they are, uh, whenever you are wanting to increase the HP damage bonus, is going to be a big priority. The other one is going to be whenever you are dealing a uh, fire damage. Thankfully, Ruby Conte is able to party wide fire enchant, so you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Ruby Conte is literally providing everything when it comes to his FR conditions. The only thing that I will say is that if you are, if you are trying to back up his FR uh, with our FR echoes, you are not going to get a very high percentage. So that's one. Thing to note, uh, note about that. So, like, if by chance you are going to be using Ruby Conte in a team, because they, uh, let's be honest, they, they are going to be a lot of solo runs with a lot of the upcoming Shinryu's after his own. So, if you are going to be taking advantage of somebody else's uh, uh, FR, then like uh, Ruby Conte can still benefit from it, just depending on like what's going on with the fight, boss mechanics, etc. etc. Et and like the nice thing is that with Ruby Conte, since he is going to be getting FR boards, you can use his FR Echo on top of whatever other force time that you are using. So regardless of which route that you go, whether it be with his own FR uh, or with uh, somebody else's FR, like you do have a bit of a 
pro and con between the two. It just depends on like what's going on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But like uh, again, in general though, um, with his FR though, you are not going to get a very strong increase like you would normally see uh, whenever you are using somebody else's uh, force time as the main one and then backing it up uh, with force echo. Now, one little tip that I would uh, that I that I do want to mention as well, uh, in case you run into those situations where uh, where the enemies are going to be hitting you with a good amount of uh, HP attacks. And and you you may encounter some struggling when it comes to like like healing or you may run into that situation where like you want to try to get a little bit of healing in between those HP attacks then uh, adding a healing sphere like take example like Minru because Ruby Kante uh, he is a he is a, he has fire element within his kit he does inflict fire resist down his attacks are fire based so whenever you have Minru sphere active on Ruby Kante uh, it will trigger that effect where everybody will be able to heal themselves a little bit it's not going to be a tremendous amount of healing but it's something and it, it, and it's better to have something like a, a like a strong healing sphere in general in case you run into those type of situations where the enemies are going to hit you with with uh, aoe attacks and you want to make sure that your team is healthy so that is a tip right there that you can have and minu is not the only healing sphere there are plenty of plenty of uh healing spheres that that you can use to equip it to uh, to ruby kante and then the final thing is that he is muy caliente <laughs> so but overall in general uh what do i think about ruby kante is he worth pulling for in my opinion he, it is a very strong yes he is one he is he was one of the characters that i mentioned in my top 10 uh must pull uh that global players should be pulling for and in my opinion, Ruby Kante, for what he does overall, with how strong his counterattacks is, the fact that like every or like all attacks are going to be drawn to him, and the fact that like you could do a crap ton of solo runs with him, or he is still very much good in uh, team comps, makes him a very strong counter tank, and he is still very much viable to this day in JP. So in my opinion, I would highly recommend that you pull for for his kit just because of the fact that he for what he does as a character as a defensive counter tank as a tank uh, as a as a counter tank overall a very 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 highly uh good one to really consider pulling for so other than that though guys that's pretty much going to be yeah i feel like i've covered everything that you guys need to know about ruby kante and uh, what i think about him but uh let me know down in the comments below what your plans are going to be again and of course if you guys did enjoy it don't forget to hit that like button subscribe for future content thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one